Hi everyone, welcome to Agile Tech. In this video, we're looking at the Cambridge IGCC ICT Paper 2 um, Data Manipulation May June 2019, Variant 22. Okay, so let's proceed to the database. Okay, that's three. You are going. You are now going to prepare some reports using the suitable database package. Import the file J229 Cruises. So let's import the file. So I'll open my database here. Click on Blank Database. Type search for the name a child. Type my file name rather a child DB, and I'm going to search for browse for the location of the file so I'm going to this is the folder I want to save this that's what I'm doing I'm just creating a folder where I can save my database so I'm going to save it here okay and I'll click on create I'm going to close it Okay, and I'm going to click on external data, new data source from file, from text file. Now I can browse for that folder where it will all be. Okay. Cruises. Open. Okay. Next. Check the first view. Ensure the first row contains the face name. So you're going to check it that it has the face name. And um, okay, so I'm going to click on next. I can use here. So I'll click on advanced. So I'm just going to store this the shift chip web that the chip reference. Um, is text um, sales dates okay um, date with time it has to be in this format uh, so that that we can do at the design view cruise ref text departure departure port text destination duration number duration is going to be a number I can leave it as a long integer. I'm just gonna leave it as a long integer. Uh, passenger, long integer is fine. Board, text, team, text. And I'm selecting the cruise ref. Okay, okay. The cruise ref as the power key. Just wanna check. Next, finish. Now we can open this. Open it to see that. Um, right, so I've opened this. I'm going to save it. Now let me see what they're asking us to do again. Place your evidence documents. Screenshot showing evidence, the field name and data type used. Obviously they want to see this. So let me quickly do that for date and time. So click on home. Switch the view to design view. So under sales date. I'm going to change it to medium date. I'm going to save it. Data sheet. So obviously, that's what. It, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to take a screenshot. Obviously, you don't you don't need to do this with me. Because uh, my screen is a small screen. 
c'est connu. Je vais vous montrer dans le document. Je vais vous montrer dans le document. I'm going to put an evidence document in this video so probably I'm going to show you how to do that so it's, it's going to be data manipulation uh, printing of the evidence okay okay this is completed import the ship the J229 ship to CSV as a new table in your database so um, I'm going to close it. Click on external data as new data source from file text file. Browse for it. Um, shifts. Just want to be sure. Click on open. Okay. Next. So it's very important you check on the first row contain containing the field names. Okay. Next. Next, I can do. You can do it in any of the new here. You can make the modifications here. But I want to just do it here and then add my code here along with it. Okay, so obviously I'm not doing anything here. Just to set the primary key, ship code. So I'm going to choose my primary key. It's going to be ship code. Yes, yeah, ship code. Yeah. Yes, ship code. Yeah. And click on next, and this will finish. Close. Okay, I'm just adjusting it. Okay, just trying to adjust it. Do we have any dates here? Um, because I think all the dates, the format of the date has to be this. I'm going to change it right now. So, um, click on home, switch the view to date time view. Um, the date at time has to be medium date. Most times they don't tell you, but I expect you to know that if you have done it, if you have done it for one, then I want you to do it for all. Okay. I'm going to see if this right click save. Yeah, and move it to detached view. Okay, I think we have this. So we're going to save, save. We're going to close. Now it's time to create a relationship. Select the both tables, add them. Create a one to many relationship between ship codes in the field, ship code in the field, yeah, and ship ref field in the coastal ship. So, okay, just want to check. I'm going to create it. Okay. Create a one to many relationship between chip code in the ship table and the screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Now I can double click here. Oh that's the create another one. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take my screenshot. Let's 
also be evidence is okay let's go make this my evidence is okay mm. okay this is completed add the following as a new record in the cruise still So obviously we're not going to close. Okay, so I'm going to create a new record, new cruises table. Now to do this, I'm going to click right here let me go magnifier so you know what you're clicking on um yeah so you're clicking right here okay so i'll do that i can just do my screen you see i'm gonna copy this Copy. Obviously, most time they tell you to do this in a form. Or for some reason, we're not creating a form. Seattle, Alaska. Duration is 21 Passengers is 2100 The board is full The team is known Completed. Okay, so I've completed this. Now, using fields from the courses table, produce a tabular report. So I'm just going to uh, okay. So you go up, and that record is added. Okay, so we're going to save this. Using fee from the closest table, so I'm going to close this. Now, obviously, when you see questions like this, they want you to create a query, so I'm going to show the fees first. Obviously, the food are, the fees are going to be from the closest table, so I'm going to click on create. Query with that, a simple query with that. Departure port. Destination sales it team duration and passengers. Are we creating a new field? Um, I don't think we're creating a new field. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, six. Yeah. Next. Next. Do we have a title? Include the text. Okay. Displayed in a larger font at the top. So I'm going to do this. Copy this. Copy. Okay, man, you could this. Okay, 
Okay, auto jump line drop. Um, okay, so let's start running those queries. The team is art or music. That's the team they want art or music. So I'm going to copy this. You will see an exam, you have to type it. Then I'm going to click on home, switch to design view. If you have no quit a relationship like this, it's not going to show. So team here is going to be art or music. And I'll click on home, design query like that. Let me just make this also show. Under the, under the query design, I'm going to click on run. Okay. The part of what is Miami. Okay. I'm going to run it on that departure port. So we have just 44 right now. So I think we're doing that query. Okay, so we're going to close this. I'm going to create a report. Now the report is going to be from the Miami Cruises. Move all. Next. Okay, do not group the data. That's what they want. We shouldn't group the data. So next. Sort the data into ascending orders of sales dates. Okay, so sales dates. Ascending order. Anything else? Yeah. Um, okay. Next. It's going to put it over. That's a peak orientation of portraits. Okay. Switch to layout view. So invariably, under your report, we have four. Report view, print preview, layout view, and design view, okay? All right, so um, this has been done. Miami cruises in the larger font. I confirm that. Yeah. All right. So let's adjust the fields, departure port. Put my control, then move it. I release my control, then move it. After departure port, we have destination. After destination, we have sales date. Team. Ok, 
Okay. Um, After theme is what? Duration. Oh, forgot we have some. Format, I trust. Then passengers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're done. To the portal destination since the team. To this is the group the data. If it's on a single page, what else? No. And this text that includes is been in larger font. Calculate the total number of passages in the selection and position this under the passengers column at the end of the report. Do you want to know the total number of passengers? Okay. Passengers. Now we're going to look at the report layout. <coughs> we're going to use count records. Okay. Let me see. Calculate the total number of passengers. Okay, once calculate the total number of passengers, so I'm going to use sum. So I don't know the total number of passengers. Okay, that's 87 passengers. 85,725 passengers. Total passengers has a label to the left of the value. Okay, so let's do that. <clears throat> I'm going to switch my view to design view. I'm going to add my label under report design. I'm going to paste it here. Obviously, in the exam, you're going to type yours. Okay, just take a account of this. Yeah. Um, oh, let me expand this. I want everything to show. Okay. Yeah, so I have this. Okay. Has your name, setter number, and candy number in the header so it displays on every page. So let's put in the header. Um, I'm just going to click on home, switch the view to design view. I'm going to click on labels and add it right here. I'm typing my name, comma, center number A for Agile and for ND, 017. 
going to give three as my candidate number. I'm just going to click on format and make this right align. Okay. I'm going to format it a bit. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to print preview. I think we have it here. So it's appearing on every page. You will see. So it appears on every page. No, no, no. That was not what we did. It's not appearing on every page. Now this why is important, guys. Okay, this is the report header. Oh, oh, this is the report header. Okay. Um, so guys, what we are going to do right now is we're going to adjust this. Move it here because we want to put this in the header as well. Okay. So I'm going to adjust it a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to adjust it. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, it needs to appear on the page header. So, I'm sure. so I just have to. So I'm going to reduce it a bit. Yeah, I'm going to reduce it a bit um, so that it can it can just fit in here. Okay. Um, if it doesn't contain, I can always do that in the layout. So there's no problem about that. Right. Um, Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to um, click on format and reduce it. Now I know that no. Mm. Let me click on home. And let me see. Um, okay, um, guys, I think what we are going to do is because this is the report header, it can be here, it has to appear on the header, so obviously, and the said, um, oh shoot, okay. I'm coming. I don't know if we can make this ten. Ten might work. You know. If we make this ten, maybe we'll have a chance of making this work. So let's reduce this to ten. Um, so we can reduce it to ten. And then to get that there, right? Um, okay, so um, I think with this we can have it um, adjusted. In fact, we can reduce it here. Um, the same thing. Uh, so yeah, guys, we can we can definitely make it work. So yeah. Yes, we have done that. We've made it work. Okay. And then our okay is right here. So uh, okay. So um. If we come to um, home, 
to switch to print preview and we can see that this is um, appearing on every page okay no the If you see this has moved, we we'll have to move this as well, and we have to reduce this. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So now we're going to print. Think is okay. Um, print preview. So if we view this, um, just view this as 100%. I think this is clear and it has the name on both pages. So yeah, we're good to go. So I'm going to print this. Print out two. Copy. Okay, and this is going to be. I'm just going to check. Um, I won't be sure that it's. Oh no. Okay, it's right here. So it's going to be put up two. Yes, so we are done with this. Um, now, obviously, the reason why we have it um, in a. I'm just gonna check that nothing we didn't have anything that caught mm, yeah yeah it's fine so uh, you just have to check that um, that was not over overlapping the other but it's fine so let's go ahead Okay. This is a report. Yeah, make sure that your name, center number, can your number is there. And we have done that. Please, if there's a comment, a screenshot showing database formula used to calculate numbers of passengers. So let's do that. Um, switch to design view. I'm going to take take a snipping tool here. This is going to be an evidence nine. Okay, I think I can take it again. Um, that is bad, I don't know, but I just feel I have to just take it again. But this is okay, obviously. Um, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so we have this... We have this um, sorted. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. We're going to create another um, report. They said using field from both tables produce a tabular report. Um, so let's uh, think we're done with this. So let's. Okay, I'm just going to undo this. Mm -hmm. Switch to my view. Uh, we have you. I think we have it here. Yeah. So I'm going to close this, save. Now I'm going to create another query. Now obviously for you to create a report, you have to create a query. That is the first thing you need to know. And you don't touch this query. This query is meant for the um, for the report you've created. So whatever field you need to bring out, must be from the table, not from the query, okay? 
So now we're doing a query for both tables um, to produce the tabular report that. Now let's create the fields quickly. Um, so we have the sales dates. Now this is from a query. I need it from a table. Please be careful. Um, sales dates. Cruise reference. Ship name. Departure port. Destination. Duration. Okay, I'm going to take this back. Destination first. Then we have duration. We have destination duration. Passengers. Board. Then I think passengers night will be created. Okay, so we have sales dates, cruise reference, ship name, um, departure port, destination, duration, passengers, board. Yes, and we can create this. The title is going to be the same title for the report and the query. So copy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now let's create the field first. I'm going to create a field. Okay, so obviously the field is going to be multiply. This will multiply duration field by passenger field. Okay, so let's create the field first. In my previous video, I did the query first before creating the field. You know, um, what I won't, I was able to run those criteria before actually creating a field. Now I want to create a field. Still the same thing. Okay. So switch the view to design view. Okay. Um, so I have it here. So I'm, I'll click on a new feed, an empty feed. Now click on builder. Right. And this is going to be what? Um, duration. multiply so this will multiply duration um, by the passenger fields okay yeah so click on okay now you're going to see this expression this is the field name okay so i'm just going to copy i'm going to copy the field copy and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to run it. Okay. So this is the calculated the duration. The duration field and the passenger field. Okay. Are we... This is calculated, which is calculated at one time. So obviously we're not adding anything to it. Duration by the passenger field, okay. Now we can run our criteria. Okay, so let's run our criteria. So I'm going to read, uh, switch to design view. Mm -hmm. Please run your criteria one after the other. Now they said the ship name, the ship name is going to include um, a text, um, um, a text called C, right? So obviously we have a wildcard, and this simply means that if it starts with something like this, okay, it's ending, um, it's ending with it, okay. But if it begins with this, it's starting with this, and if we see something like this, this means that. Sorry, with this, okay, 
so this means that it is beginning so this means beginning and this means ending okay so whichever we want to put so whenever you see the asterisk and that one it means and um, they said that ends with it means the C whatever you're writing is going to end with a C but um, when you have the C asterisk it means it is beginning with that particular word okay but if you have this it means it has to be in between okay it can be in between it can include it okay all right so I needed to just give you that lecture so the ship name includes the text C I'm just gonna copy the C right here copy uh, ship name yeah now notice most of the time the criteria you're going to run okay yeah is there is there yeah okay is there so we're not we're not doing it is there okay yeah is there so um so we have it here asterisk just going to view this so you see what i'm talking about so we have this under the criteria this okay so i'm going to run it do we have one that 39 records moving on we have duration is 14 or more okay so obviously this will be duration is this will be um, greater than equals to 14 okay okay one and finally board is full copy i'm going to use switch view to design view I'm going to put board is um, full okay so we have just 21 records and that's fine okay, 21 so at this point we are done with the query and we are going straight to the report okay so um, yeah so we have our passengers night yeah so yeah we're done with this so the we're done with the query okay this is also a query and report uh, yep this is only a query okay yeah so let's create it let's create a report then so i'm going to close and um I'm going to close, I'm going to click on create, I'm going to click on report wizard, I'm going to move um, the extended cruise ceiling, the yeah, extended cruise ceiling, and I'm going to move everything, okay, from the available to selected field. I'm going to click on next, of course, please do not group the data, right, so this simply means, this is, this means group, and this means ungroup, okay, very important, I'm going to do that again. So this means um, this is grouped, and this means ungrouped. Okay. All right. Next. Next. All right. Um, sort the data into ascending order of destination. Okay. So destination. Ascending order of destination, then descending order of duration. So, ascending order of destination, descending order of duration. Okay, so, of course, it's a tabular. Remember, we're going to create what? Um, a table to produce a tabular report. So, it has to be a table. And the landscape orientation is going to be landscape. Next, the name is going to be extended cruising ceiling ceiling it will be displayed as a larger font at the top of the page okay 
I'm just gonna switch this to layout view and we can get this done. Um, format, I'm just gonna use 30, use bold. Yes, now I can put them the way it is. So I have save state. Okay, I'm going to click on from my make it left. And after says the what do we have? Um cruise ref. Let's go over here. What else? We have ship name. And then we have the batch of ports. So I'm just going to move the two of them together. Okay. Okay. Then we have a destination. And do this destination, destination. Yeah, so we have that. Yeah, if you see something like this, it means it's covering, so there's an overlap. So we have to adjust it a bit. Yeah, then the next one after destination, we have a duration. So we have duration here. We're going to move it a bit. This is for board. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this. This is duration. So at default, the values are going to be left and line. So the right and line for values, and text is going to be left and line, your values, your dates, right and line, okay? So you just notice, um, passengers, yes, we have passengers here. We're going to move it a bit. Okay, left and line. Then the next one we have is board, and then we have passengers lines. Okay, I'm going to move it here. Okay. I think we're done. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have done this. So, this, this report has been created. Let's know what has been done and what else has not been done. Um, the both of them has been done. It fits on a single page. It includes the text. The larger font has been done. Okay, I think. Um, okay, we're not carrying out any any calculations. It has your name, center number, card number on the report. So obviously, I can put it um, on the footer. Okay. So let me do it before. So I'm going to click on home. Switch to design view. I'm going to add the label and put it on the page footer. Child ND, comma. We have a um, tweet and center number 017. That's if we have info in the kind of number is 2023. Okay, I'll click on this. Click on format center. Okay. I can just just make it stand out a bit, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think at this point we can say that um, 
we can save and print our report. And this is going to be print up three. Copy. So I'm going to switch to print report, print preview. Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to be sure that nothing is overlapping here. Very, very important you check it. Please do check it. Okay, so just try to check it. Um, yeah, yeah, so we have it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so we can print this. So this is going to be, of course, always prints to PDF. Very, very important. Please do that, okay? Print to PDF, please. Okay, we have this. Um, so this is um, save, close. Okay, so this is done. This is just nine marks. So we're going to create obviously an extract. So let's look at it. Um, using feed from both team, produce an extract. Um, so let's show you. Let's create another uh, query. So click on create. Click on um, query that a simple query. Okay. Um, we're going. Please don't select feed from query, but I use some tables. So we're going to produce a feed from both tables. We're going to, using feed from both tables. Produce an extract. So let's look at the feed. Uh, we have Cool's reference. Cool's reference. Okay. Ship name. Duration. So we have the Cool's ref ship name and duration okay because we have ship name and duration in this order with details okay so we have it yeah so next let me check the title is going to be an extract so we're going to save this as an extract save the extracts okay so i'm going to type it as an extract okay so we have this Okay, so we're gonna we're going to run some criteria. The team is tester. Okay, so on home switch to design view. Okay, let's get it. Team is tester. So obviously that doesn't work. So obviously we have to bring in that feed. And so we have team here from the cruises. Now we're going to run this. The team is tested. One. Then we are going to uncheck the team. Okay. Uncheck it so it doesn't show. Okay. The next criteria will be duration is less than four. Okay. Duration is less than four. Okay. So view, design view, duration is less than four okay so that's the criteria for it you can check it it's just less than four we're going to run it um, so we're just having just uh, so you just want to check what did we have before you notice let me just take this off and run it we had nine. Oh, okay we had nine now we have seven it's yes, fine okay um so we have found this query this criteria show only the fields um so that with data and with data and labels displayed in full so they are displayed in full yes they are now we have done this as well. Save the extract. Right click on it. Save. 
export the extract created in step 25 in a rich text file so i'm going to export it I'm going to close under this extra here just let me zoom in a bit so under this extra here right click and go to export and we're going to word rtf this is the same thing as the rich text file okay let's browse it to where it is yes i want to be sure sorry i want to be sure um okay so it's where it is so browse and i'm going to save it okay and close save the exported file in your work area this has been done now display your evidence document is screen short to show the exported file saved in your work area Make sure there's evidence of the file type. So right here, I'm going to go to switch to details. I have it here, and I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay. So I'm going to take a screenshot right now. Yeah. Um, this is what evidence, what 10. Okay. So this 29 marks uh, it's been good so obviously we're going to um continue the other part in our next video and so thank you guys and probably in the next video we'll look at also the, the other part and of course pre printing of evidence document because we have an extra so thank you for watching do just watch please pass this along with it please do well to like this video and share to your friends and colleagues and um Thank you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more in-depth teaching of IGCSE ICT, Particles and Tool. Thank you.